Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saidal Pujapati and this video will be talking about how we can deploy Azure Data Factory pipelines using Azure DevOps. So till now, what we have done is that we created pipelines, we created link service, we created triggers and we created data sets, right? So now this time, what we are gonna do, we gonna just move or we can say the copy the same pipelines from one Azure Data Factory to another Azure Data Factory or we can say like we you know we are just gonna deploy the same code into into the different environment or different resource group or different different resource right so see till now we have done sub dev work now you need to move the same code into the higher environment let's say UAT or production environment so manually also we can do but it is not recommended right so what we will be doing, we will be, we will be using CI CD pipelines using Azure DevOps and with the help of that we will be just moving our code from one place to another place. Right. So what are the steps? So first we I will I will save my code into this repository. So I will be using GitHub repository. You you can also use you know and another uh, repository systems like uh, Azure Git and Big Bucket and uh, any uh, any other things. Okay, and after that, what we'll be doing, we will be setting up, setting up a CI CD pipelines and then we will be, you know, just uh, moving the code from one place to another. And in this process, I will be also uh, telling you that what access you needed, you know, to create the pipelines, what are the service principle you needed, what are the contributor access, whether you need, you need a contributor access or, you know, what type of access you needed in this process. And I hope like you are liking my video and please be continue this video till the end so that you will get a, bit, a better idea of, you know, what is the process of this Azure, Azure uh, Data Factory CICD pipelines. Hey, so if you can see over here that we have this ADF key coder source and here we have some pipelines and even though we have some link services, right, we have some triggers present over here now the thing is we need to copy or we need to apply the same thing into the different azure data factory so how we can do that so first of all what i'm gonna do i'll just gonna create a different adf you know i we need to create a setup uh, and then we can only apply the code so here if i go to this data factory option i'll just quickly uh, click on this create button to create my azure data factory and here I will choose the same subscription. Here I have to choose a resource group. So I am I am choosing the same resource group as of now because of cost thing. But ideally the resource group should be different. You know the broad resource group or we can say a different resource group where we are you know uh, uh, moving the code to the production environment. So you may be a UAT environment. And here I have to pass the name. So I'll just quickly write my name, my my ADF name that is Geekura Sync, and then. Okay, I'll just quickly go to this git uh, configuration why it is showing like okay uh, Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do it later networking. I can escape advanced option. I can escape text I can escape and then quickly click on this if you press create button. I hope it will not fail Everything seems correct and now click on create button now you can see the deployment is started and Meanwhile what I'll do I'll just quickly show you how we can save this code you know how, how i mean how how can i link this adf to uh, to the github or any any repository so this is my github okay this is my github account and here i will create a new repository for this adf so i click click on this plus button new repository and here i will pass my name pass my repository name that is let's say adf and here I will choose whether it is a public or the private. I will choose private or you can use also public. It is up to you. And then click on create repository. Okay. Cool. Now what I'll do, I'll just quickly, you know, create my repository. So for that, I'll have to add some dummy files. So I'll just quickly add, let's say, one dot tst files and uh, commit over here. So that I can able to see my uh, repository now you can see if you know about this github things or repository things then you can then you know that you know we have different kind kind of branches over there one is main branch or we can say the master branch where the final code is saved and with the help of uh help of that branch we you know we do deployments 
and then on top of this we have one develop branch where you know every every developer will come and merge the code okay and on top of develop branch we have a local branch cool but in this case you know uh, i'm i'm just gonna create i'm just gonna create a develop branch here so i'll quickly go to this plus new button and i'll choose here develop branch suppose you want to you su suppose we have you know uh, our different branches then you can choose this choose here on top of which branch you want to create your develop branch so, so i want to create it on top of main branch so i am choosing here uh, i am choosing here uh, main okay click on create button it is done cool quickly go back to here and now if you can see we have this pipelines right and see if i click on this azure data factory option we have set up code repository here and also if you go to manage option then you can see this git uh, git configuration right so here also you can do the good do the uh, configuration so i could click quickly click on this button and choose from where from where you want to i mean on which uh, type of repository you want to use so i am using here github you can also use azure devops script if if you have uh, you know if if you have it so i ha i am having github so i'm using this and since i do not have github and enterprise server i am using a free version of it so i am not checking this and here i have to pass my uh, pass the repository owner so uh, what is repository owner means you know this name okay this name i want i i i have to pass it pass it so i'll just copy this name and put it over here now i'll click on continue now here i have to choose repository name since we have two repository one is for databricks and second is for adf so i am choosing here adf and then you can see we have these many things cool so what does it mean see collaboration branch is a branch where every developer comes and you know merge the code this is the collaboration branch so since i am using a develop branch so i'll choose here develop branch okay now whatever link service we are creating we creating pipelines we get integers all things are saved in the json form format in this azure data factory okay and we deploy the things uh, in azure data factory using arm templates which is which is in a, which is written in the json format so uh, what azure data factory is saying that you know we need one branch where with the help of which we publish the code so if you click on this you know button i button the publish branch is the branch in your repository where publishing publishing related arm templates are stored and updated so see in in different thing like in adf in sorry not in adf in azure data factory in in you know in and let's say in python code or anywhere any other resource things what we do we deploy the code from the master branch or we can say the main branch but in this we deploy we deploy the things using adf publish branch okay you can also deploy from the main branch but it doesn't make sense so you can also since you know the things are stored in adf publish branch so we deploy the things from the adf publish branch only okay now uh, here you you have to choose the root folder so let's say i'm using here adf and here you can you know check this check this and you want if anything present in the branch branch and you want to import in your pipeline in this adf then you can import it since we do not have anything or you know i'm i'm i do not want it to so i'm not choosing any branch over here okay okay you uh, see in this public branch you, you can also change this name it is not mandatory to keep this name but a but adf recommends that you use this branch name okay now click on apply button okay it is running and if i go back to my this adf the sync one now if i click on this go to resource launch my azure data factory studio and yeah it is loading it will take some seconds cool so if i go to this author option then you can see we do not have any pipelines we do not have any triggers we do not have any 
you know we do not have it because we do not have any link service integration and time and other stuff right so and this app is connected now if i go to my github repository and if i go to this develop branch then you can see we have one adf uh, adf folder what we created right and then we have all these things cool and i'll quickly go back to here since this one dot txt is not needed so i'll just uh, i'll just click on it and try to remove this because it is not needed cool now what usually we need to do is that the code is saved in the develop branch okay now we need we have to publish whatever the code is present into this to the to the published branch so my published branch is the adf publish so simply we have to click on this publish button it will automatically you know uh, uh, move the code from develop to the publishing uh, publishing okay because we have chosen adf adf underscore publish branch before so you know it will automatically take the take it okay click on okay publishing completed cool now if i go to my uh, github and if i okay if i you know click on this then we'll see what branches we can see now you can see you can also see here adf publish branch okay adf publish branch you can see and if you want to merge the code from develop to main you can you you can raise the pr just you know we raise the pr over here with the help of this button and you know since i am only the person so i can you know uh, merge this code and and even though you know i i did not apply any policy over here so you know i can do this now if i uh, go to here and you can also see now we have this adf publish branch right so if i click on it and if i click this adf publish then you can see we have this geek coder source name cool and inside this we have two things mainly two things we have arm template for factory and arm template template parameter for factory so if i click on this then you can see all all the things are present okay all things are present over here cool 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 we have this code and if i go back if i click on this then you can see also we have we have we have all these parameters okay now you can see factory name is this data storage account key since we did not added any any you know any anything like this that's why it is not showing over here and then we have other stuff also like you know cluster database cluster id and other stuff cool so i quickly go back and now we will try to uh, deploy the same thing to the different branch sorry different uh, uh, different uh, resource so this is my azure devops things okay you can see we have the options of pipelines cool so what i'll do i'll go to this release things release option and now what i can do i can uh, create not create release i click on this and plus new release okay cool click on empty job and here you can see like plot okay and stage owner is me sagar prachapati and cancel it cool now first we have to choose the artifact in simple term you can understand from where you want to uh you want to uh, take your take the uh, code okay so i click on this and i'll see we have all these options so i will choose github option since you know we have this github options service is uh, geek code is 13 okay you can also uh, create a new one now here we need to so see the repository so i click quickly click on it and you can see it is it automatically comes the geek code as 13 adf so i'll choose this repository and here it is asking me the de default branch branch you know from which branch you want to you want to take the code or you want to deploy so i'll choose here adf publish branch okay and then we have 
like if you have to choose so i'll 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 say that latest from the default branch and all these things can be you know you you can you can check this out and you can ignore this also as of now i will let you in coming videos and click on add button cool it is done now click on here you can see we have this agent job agent job is something you know by which we run this pipelines so agent pool you have to choose so i usually choose azure pipeline and i will choose the latest window only La windows latest uh, things only i am i i choose always and you can set this uh, set this things you know timeout and job cancel timeout second time and other stuff okay cool here we have variables options you can you can add your variables if you have any and then retentions things okay days to retain a release retain our releases and minimum releases to keep and then we have also also options integrations and then we have history things here when you deploy the code when you run the pipeline when you edit the pipeline other stuff so i quickly go to this task and uh, since we have only one task as of now and uh, now the things is done now what i'll do i'll i i want to deploy the code right so i'll right here ARM. as i said you know i we usually deploy the things using uh, your arm template in its adf so i'll choose this click on add button now you can see this is something called azure resource manager connection okay if i uh, drop down it then you can see we have uh, this azure for student subscription okay so what is this so we need to create a service connection actually so service connection means you know where we are deploying the code okay where we are deploying the code actually we we have to create it so how you can do that you can go to this project setting let let me save it as of now and okay one minute yeah let me save it as of now and let me just change the name for the better understanding adf cool and save it as of now cool now i go to this project settings here you can see we have this multiple things okay uh, so i'll quickly go down and uh, go to this service connection i'll create a new one so click on new service connection i'll choose this azure resource manager go to next this is automatic thing cool subscription i will write down some name over here let's say geek coders okay it is asking me to you know uh, sign in on so i'll just pass it my details okay now you can see we have this subscription if you have any subscription then we have to choose it and the source is the same geek coders only and then here i can pass the name of my service connection and get access to all the pipelines save it Cool. Now, if you can see, uh, I have created this thing, right? And now, what you can do if I click on this many service roles, then you can also check it over here whether your SPN have access or not. So, I will not do it as of now. I will first show you. Okay. So, I'll quickly. So, since we have created the pipeline as of now, so I'll just click on this release button and click on this adf and edit it cool click on it go to plus choose arm add and here i will choose the azure resource connection okay it is not coming as of now it will commit yeah geek code as broad i will choose this and subscription where you want to deploy the uh sorry in which subscription you want to deploy the things so i'll choose here azure for a student 
and create or update the source pool which is source you want to update it the coders location is east east us only i will choose as of now okay linked artifact that's true and template so here you can see all these thing, three things right so i will choose here the template so click click on these three buttons and choose this arm template for factory okay in this case you can see template parameters so quickly go to the same way choose this and then we have override template parameters here you can see we have this opportunity to change the name let's say you can see the factory name is this azure data lake storage and so on so on so on cool so see i want to deploy the adf with uh, to the different uh, adf right so i can change the name let's say so i'm passing here geek coders sync instead of this because i want to i want to uh, you know i i i want to deploy the things into this uh, resource group sorry in, into this factory adf so okay so i'll click on okay and if i go and confirm the name geek coder sync yeah cool it is correct only now if i again click on it now you can see that you know we have we have azure database properties also like i passed over here the uh, over here the what the, the cluster id right so if see sometime what happens what what happens that you know in uh, in the production environment we have different adf like sorry different data breaks and also we we you know we use a different uh, cluster cluster we do not use the same cluster what we are using in the what we are using in the dev environments okay so for that you can also override the things like you you can change the things you know runtime so you can pass those ids and if you want to change any parameters what i have created in the adf then you can also pass it over here okay cool now click on okay now in the deployment mode you have to choose incremental only if you choose complete then it your changes will go away see if i click on this then you can see complete mode will delete all the existing resources in the resource group which are not specified in the template okay do review the resource group you are deploying to does not contain any any necessary resources that are not specified in the template so ideally we should not use com complete mode if you are working uh, with with your team members or with a different teams and if you have a separate resource group then maybe you can use this complete uh, uh, deployment mode but ideally we we are not using and we should not also use it so we should only use the in incremental one so i'll choose this deployment name you can say adf1 something like that that is not needed cool so i'll just quickly save it and go to create release button okay automatic cool artifact release pipeline created now release has been created now click on it and try to deploy the code okay it is on queued so it will take some time i believe so okay it is running one task is running two tasks is running second it's completed third one is also completed completed right yes it is loading let me refresh it everything is done now you can see we have we can see this green button now if i go to my this adf and if i just you know refresh it 
you can see we have everything over here even though we if if i go to this pipelines option then you can see we have this pipeline data set everything will be same cool but if i go to this manage option and if i go to trigger then you can see we do not have this enabled but in my previous uh, area which is the dev one or which is the older one here if i go to this triggers button then you can see this is started right so actually what happens when we usually when we are deploying the code when we are deploying code to the adf ideally we should stop the triggers otherwise maybe the pipeline gets failed okay and uh, how the now the question is how we can start the triggers okay so what we will do if i quickly go to this uh, adf pipeline okay edit it here if i click on plus button here we have one option trigger okay start you know stop and start and stop and as your data factory trigger so click on this and i'll add this okay and again the same thing i have to choose here so i'll just choose geek coders production prod is also go press geek coders azure data factory name of the azure data factory so name of the azure data factory is this cool filter filter now you can see we have this option if i click on i then regex filter to determine which trigger to toggle empty string all triggers will be toggled if i just you know pass here empty string or if, if i can also pass this star it means it will take all the all the triggers and if you want to specify anything you can spe specify the name so i'll just leave it blank and i have to choose the status so i have to start the thing right so i'll just uh, do here start suppose if you are running it one first time then you have to you know you have to you have to uh, you have to keep this you have to keep this here okay after the deployment and suppose the code is already present the code is already present and again you are you know deploying in the second time then what you have to do first what you have to do first first you have to stop the trigger so uh, what i'm saying so click on the same job again and right here trigger again cool choose this add it and go to here cool and here i will choose the same thing like geek coders prod it is source group is what geek coders name is we have named this like you know i'll just put it the same name over here and star and here set trigger is stop so what is what it will do first it will stop the trigger it will deploy the code and again it will it will uh, it will start the trigger so as of now this is not needed so what you can do also in order to you i mean either you can delete this delete this or you can disable the task so i will disable the task and okay those things are correct now save it okay see since i already deployed the code so i do not need to deploy this again so i can also disable this task again and i just need to enable things right enable the or start the trigger so i'll just keep this task enable and save thing save that save my pipeline once it is done go to create this pipeline choose everything like what we chosen before and click on create button now release 2 has been created simply go and click on deploy button deploy okay it will take some time so let me refresh it again and it is on queued as of now it will take like 10 to 15 or maybe 30 30 seconds only now you can see it is in progress and now i guess we have only we should have only two tasks not two tasks i guess three tasks also okay cool so it is running okay now you can see the speed is quite faster right since we do not have multiple tasks actually now if i go to over here it is running okay it's done cool now if i go to my adf and if i just refresh this then you can see it will be 
it 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 is started see it is started right and we have all these codes already so this is the way how how you know the pipeline is uh, the pipeline used to deploy it okay so what in this video what we have learned that you know what is the concept of azure devops how we can uh, how we can link the azure data factory into this git repositories and how we can you know uh, dev how we can get a CICD pipelines how we can give the service connections things so i hope like you will be liking my videos and if you do do like and share with your friends and moving forward i will be creating more videos on azure data factory to databricks and maybe i i will be also creating videos on adx queries custo queries and and we can say azure synapse and power bi so please keep subscribing like keep watching my videos and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and i hope you have a good day thank you bye bye